and welcome to the Octane High Tech Awards in Orange County, California. I'm Jane King. Pratika MedTech has an innovative approach to wound care. And with me is the president, Thomas Nichols. Great to have you here. Just let's start with the overall view of the company. Well, thank you very much, and it's so appreciated. Pratika MedTech, we're reimagining wound care. We have a non-invasive device that's embedded within the wounds and surgical dressings, casts, that provides imaging technology and sensor technology through wirelessly the cloud into the clinicians, doctors, surgeons, or outpatient nursing teams, smartphone device or office desktop to allow them to follow and watch in real time or continuously the healing process of the wound. Okay, so explain why the connected wound care is important. How does that make a difference in someone's healing? So when we look at the overall healthcare industry, we're looking at the growth of digital health care, virtual health care. And with that, this technology allows the patient comfort and not having to be brought back into the office or having to have an outpatient nursing team member go to their home to look at what the healing process is like mm -hmm. by having to remove the dressings, a cast, or a disease monitoring wrap. And that's the key because it provides comprehensive data and information in real time to the medical teams and at the same time, a tremendous saver on the medical reimbursement side. Yeah. And more efficient. Absolutely. Uh, so for, you know, nobody's wasting their time doing all the driving and so forth. So you've got. And with technology in every industry, including healthcare, mm -hmm. that's an important driver. We really have to look for ways to make information and technology available to the medical teams while at the same time driving comfort to the patient and even driving further savings to the medical industry. Okay, now you have brought the device yes. uh, with you today. So let's take a look at it and, and kind of explain how it works. Most certainly. So our technology is based around utilizing firmware and hardware with cameras and autofocus lenses in very macro and micro sizes that will allow, along with the use of its Wi-Fi antenna, mm -hmm. its own built-in battery supply, as well as an LED light to illuminate. Mm -hmm. So this device can be placed inside above the wound, resting above the wound, and then the surgical dressings, casts, or disease monitoring wrap can be placed over it so it's embedded. And now the patient can be released earlier from the hospital because they can get immediate monitoring. Mm -hmm. And it provides the healthcare team the ability to look at the healing process, focusing on infections and other aspects mm -hmm. relating to the type of surgery or the wound that it's monitoring to give that important data to the healthcare professionals yeah. without having to bring the patient in to remove the wraps, the casts, mm -hmm. or the dressings. So the infections would be one of the main things it would tell you, right? That is correct. Be, who would be your customers? So when you look at it's such a broad base because it starts with the hospitals, it then can expand into the Department of Defense. Mm -hmm. It can expand into outpatient centers, doctors' offices, any type of area where there is care given to patients mm -hmm. and in the area of wound dressings. Yeah. How big would the market size be? So when we look at the total addressable market size, mm -hmm. it's really dynamic because when we looked at our patent strategy and the results that we've attained, there's been a white space. There's plenty of devices that provide imaging and measurements, but it's all outside with the wound exposed. Okay. And so we have this embedded technology that has found a white space in the patent arena, as well as from the standpoint of the FDA, it's a de novo. Mm -hmm. So no other predicates or substantial equivalents have existed. Mm -hmm. So we're creating a whole new category in wound care management mm -hmm. with embedded technology. And so with that, what we have to draw on in terms of the market size, for example, the total healthcare digital um, category is $44 billion a year globally. And if you layer that down into the digital healthcare devices for therapeutics, it's roughly 4.4 billion. And so here we are launching this new disruptor category as an embedded device where we see by 2027 a $1 billion revenue uh, field 
in place for this type of embedded technology. Interesting. And you mentioned the FDA. So does this require FDA approval? If so, where is it in that process? It does. Mm. And the FDA is certainly centered on safety, limiting risk and hazards. So when we, through a regulatory consultant, looked at what are the predicates and substantial equivalents, there were none on a device that's embedded. Mm. So from that standpoint, the FDA sees this and says, it's a de novo because we can't base our registration and our 510K on existing predicates. We have to go through the de novo process, mm -hmm. which in a way it shows that no one else is in this space. Yeah. However, it requires a lot more from our standpoint to meet the new regulatory requirements that the FDA is going to uh, be uh, really citing and for us to follow. But the important aspect is from an FDA standpoint, it's not an invasive device. Mm. Okay. And then what about, I mean, in terms of the standard dressings and how we've been doing this for decades, maybe yes. longer, um, what was the problem with that? Why didn't those work and what problem are you solving with this? So the traditional, and when you look at the wound care category, lots of technology from medical grade foam to the medical grade tapes that are used mm -hmm. to cast to the types of sutures that are used, to um, you go down the list of all of the types of bandages and wraps. There is so much technology in this area, but what it's preventing is it's preventing the doctors and clinicians and the nursing teams to be able to look at and monitor the healing process without having to bring the patient in or going to see the patient. And that's what our connected wound care technology is doing. It's creating a whole new category, disrupting the wound care category with a device that's embedded. So now you can just from your office or as you're doing your other appointments, mm -hmm. you can monitor the healing process. Yeah. And the industry in terms of hospitals and surgeons, they look at this as a 80% outpatient team benefit and 20% inpatient still in the hospital benefit because there are still inpatient uh, uh, types of healing and bandages that can't be removed, but to have this device in, letting them know, oh, the healing process and the infection rate, it's low, everything is working great, we can now release this patient. Mm -hmm. It's a great asset to the wound care category. Yeah, now where are you in terms of development? Like when would this be able to be used in a hospital, for example? So our target, and we have the FDA um, in the de novo framework, we're at November, 2023. Okay. And through this standpoint now to that point, We'll have had all of our development and device and testing completed. We'll have had completed all of our coding for medical reimbursements. Mm -hmm. So the real um, goal is by 2028 to be off and running. Okay, and just in general, what are some new developments in this area, wound care specifically, besides what you're doing? So what we have within our patent claims is the area of curative properties. And this is so important because it's technology from an imaging standpoint. However, we can build into this device module the ability to have curative properties such as UVC light for uh, controlling and minimizing infections, for built-in chambers to dispense medicants. So this is all done remotely by the clinicians and medical teams. So we have the ability to bring so much more technology into our connected wound care category. Yeah, fascinating, Thomas. Thank you so much for coming and explaining Pratika. Well, I really appreciate yeah. it. And thank you thank again. Thank you. Uh -huh.